Hi everybody, today is Saturday, January 28th, 2023. I cannot believe it is already the end of January. I can't either. <laughs> and this is episode number 16 of Running With Scissors, Stitching With Jane and Julie. Sometimes I forget who we are and I say we're running with stitches. Just know it's secret code for Running With Scissors. Use them interchangeably, but the officially fact-based. This is Running With Scissors, Stitching With Jane and Julie, <laughs> and fact-based, I'm still Jane. And I'm still Julie. And neither one of us really run anywhere. No. I said no. running with stitches when I was telling you where to go on my website. So I'm like, no, we have got to correct that. It, it is code. True story, I don't run. I had to go for a stress test many, many years ago you know, and they hook you up to all this stuff. And then you have to be on the treadmill, you know, and I'm like cruising along and then they increase the rate of speed. And I told the guy, I'm just telling you right now, I don't run. Yeah. So I will lay down on this treadmill and flop like a fish <laughs> before you're going to get me to run. <laughs> and I think he thought it was funny and I was probably <laughs> kidding. And it got to a certain point where I, he was going to turn the speed up again. And I said, Walleye, carp, sunfish, <laughs> bluegill, you pick. Because the next step, fish. Yep. <laughs> he stopped. He said, oh, I think we have enough. <laughs> I know I've had enough. When Be when Catherine was a little girl, I used to meet at the end of the driveway and chat with my neighbor during nap time. And I was waiting for a call, and I could hear the phone from the shop. Well, the phone was ringing, so I, like, ran, trotted, and when I came back, Catherine just stood there with her mouth open and goes, I didn't know you knew how to run. <laughs> well, we all know how to. It's yeah. just a matter of, like, I, I choose not. Yeah. To. And Bella, she had wiped out on her little bike. Oh. And I was in the kitchen and saw it. And Tom was on his way. He was running down the street. And I came just running full open. Like, Adrenaline. Oh, my God. I could lift cars off of small children. <laughs> and Bella, when we got her in, I go, honey, stop crying. You'll be okay. She goes, I thought I was okay until I saw you running. Then I thought, I really <laughs> must be oh, no. Oh, so, no. It was like yeah. next level. Yeah. Grandma's <laughs> so, running. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh. So anyways, let's get this show started. Yeah. So thanks everybody for coming back and joining us again. Mm -hmm. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Um, if you're a new viewer, welcome. We hope that you like yes. what you'll see and that you'll hit the like button and subscribe and tell all your friends and then they'll tell friends and then so on and so on. <laughs> um, if you're a returning friend, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate all your kind comments, and we speak about them a lot. Um, I'm sorry I've been absent from answering each one of them. I probably, I will get to them, I promise. It's just, like I said before, at the end of a 12, 13-hour day on the computer, I, just, I can't spend any more time on a laptop. Yeah. So, um, and we also have some special thanks to a couple of fellow Floss tubers that mentioned us on their channels. Uh, Marjorie Maid was kind enough to mention us. So um, we will put her information in the description box. And then Sage Butterfly Designs yes. was also kind enough to call us out. So thank you very much, hello. Um, we really appreciate it. And um, please go show them some love, like the love that you show us. Go check out their channels. And like I said, we'll put their information in the description box. Yes, thank you very much, very much. So, um, we've got a lot of things to cover, but um, right now i got to fix this other side of my hair. I'm sticking out. I still don't get the reverse thing. The opposite? Yeah, that's why I went yeah. this way. Anyways, we've got so <laughs> it's much. It's only episode 16. We're still learning. <laughs> um, we've got so much to go over today. So much goodness to share. It's almost like we don't know where to start. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> You're Jane. And well, that's I'm right, Julie. I mentioned that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put the clicker right here because we right. successfully figured that out. And hopefully it won't get too buried underneath all the goodness we have to show today. I'll try to be neat. So I would like to ask you, did you work on anything this week? Julie, thank you for asking. <laughs> I did. Um, 
I am actually, I'm going to start with a finish. How do you, what do you think of that? I, you know, Starting it's 2023. Let's just do anything we want, shall we? Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking because you're the, um, the carefree, laid back, non rulesy Julie. Yeah. And, um, She's I'm going to try, clips. I'm going to try to do something fancy with a board and wonder clips. Let's see how this goes, everybody. Oh, the clips aren't the same color. Oh, well. oh, oh it's, it may be I, a new year, but <laughs> at least they're not clashing colors. No, they're, um, I have a finish. I finished. This is Shepherd's Bush. All is look calm. Look at that. And just for y'all, uh, Julie forced me to... I did iron, not. I said. And, I, and pressed it under <laughs> under duress and against my will, but I did it. I said. Well, you're welcome, everybody. I said, would you like me to plug the iron in so you To can... me, that's <laughs> that's a direct order. That's being forced. Anytime iron and would you like. That's bad. So anyway, well, that's the He's the adorable. Finish. Isn't he cute? Yes. Yeah, he's very cute. And I use the kit fabric mm -hmm. and all of the call for um, over dyed silk and cotton. He is really that picture does not do him justice. No, the picture that they have on the website is much better. Okay. I probably just got a bad um, version of the picture. And that happens. That yeah, happens. it happens from time and to time. And we have our boards. I remember. Yeah, we're those. really. I had a kind of got. We do have lists. We're on top of things, but today. we do have lists because we just have that much. It's a lot. I had a, I had a big pile. Yes. Piled up on my rolling cart, and Julie's like, "Man, that's quite a stack of things." Yep. Wow, I was busy. She was. This is a Tisca to Tasket by Rosewood Manor, just Love as it. a reminder. And I didn't make a tremendous amount of progress, but I did work on some of the upper motifs, so I will share that with you. Do you need a board? I think I'm just going to do it this way because okay. it's a lot of it's a lot of fabric. So here is my progress mm -hmm. and I mostly worked on this top part up here this time around but I'm really really starting to like it. I'm doing it on 36 count vellum by Picture This Plus. One um, strand of fiber over two fabric threads. So, Way cool. Yeah, and if you guys don't mind, I'm going to put away as I show you because it's a lot for me. Well, it's a big pile. And um, I'm not always great about... Okay, this is... I'm glad you're sitting down because this will be a shock for you. I'm not always great at going back and cleaning up my messes after I've made them. <laughs> That's okay. I love you unconditionally. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right back at we, you, sister. We all excel at different things. I have nice handwriting. She does. Very font-like. <laughs> you goof. Gosh. And then I did make some progress on Come Terry. Um, somewhere there's a picture. Oh, look at that. Um, Come Terry by Shepherd's Bush. I can't wait to see this. I saw little bits of it, but I didn't see it in person. And here is <gasps> my progress. <gasps> so last we left you in episode 15, um, I had just outlined the hills, but hadn't um, started on them. <laughs> so I finished the hills. Um, Tina's directions were very cool. Her idea was to do um, this section horizontally, this section vertically, and then do this one on the diagonal oh. so that it didn't just look like a big lump of grass. She sent me a picture when she started and she goes, the hills are alive. The hills are alive. <laughs> and then I tried to do this next um, group of words, which is one over one. On the 32 count it's fine but hmm, on either side I don't think maybe I can find the pictures on either side um, there's a flower motif and oh. then you have to center 
your um, words in between those floral motifs. Well, they're, the center of the, the pattern is marked and the center of the words is marked on the pattern. It's a separate um, sure. piece. And so I thought, well, I'll just center the words sure. and then work on either side. But the problem was there wasn't going to be room for the flowers. Um, so something was incorrect. Something was wrong. So I took out some of the lettering, but not all of it. Because I'm wondering if I go now and I um, do these flowers, if I can somehow leave the lettering that's in, in there and adjust the other words to fit in the space. Yeah. Because, um... Oh, that dark color to get out over one. It's aged plum. It's a dark color. It's one over one on 32 count. Um, I'm not sure at how destructive frogging some of that stuff is going to be. Yeah. So um, I, I'll stay tuned I, and I will um, let you know how that goes. And then um, I did a few more stitches on Cottage Garden Samplings. October 31st. Mm, love him. I just saw the O and I'm like, what word goes there? October. Oct. Oct, Oct 31. And here's my uh. progress. I just filled in a little more of the raven and did another um, rib of the Oh, pumpkin. very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I really like it. I love the fabric. The fabric is, do you recall? 40 count. Ancient by Picture This Plus. Very nice. I have a few ideas of some things I would like to do on Ancient. I looked to see if it comes in 36, and I didn't see it in 36, so the options are 28, 32, and 40. Mm. Um, there may be yeah. more 40 count <clears throat> in my future. And then, are you ready? I have a new start. I have no idea what this is. I started Heart in Hand. 2023 20, Collector's Heart. It is a kit and it came with the fabric and a small um, like quilt button right here. And then it came with um, cottage garden thread leather bound and you'll see the color in a minute. I had the, not... The name of the thread is, or the color is leather bound? The name of the color is leather bound. The um, dyer and the manufacturer is Cottage Garden Thread. Hmm. And I've never heard of that. This is being done on the kit fabric, which I think is a 32 count um, over dyed. And I am using two um, fabric threads over. Oh, 32 count Heartland by Picture This Plus. Uh -huh. And here is my progress. It's red. It's red. Red is my least favorite color. Well, maybe you could put it in my drawer. <laughs> might end up being a. I don't end have, up being a gift for Julie. I, I don't but, have a drawer of no return, but I'll but start one. I really do like oh, the um, beautiful the color of the thread, and the coverage is very good. It had been a while since I had stitched with two strands on um, anything. And? I don't mind it. At first, especially, you know, the heart is all filled in and the stitching is kind of dense. Mm -hmm. And it does get kind of tight yeah. when you're used to stitching with one strand on 32 count. But I really like it. And then um, I have another new start. And these all are in beautiful a beautiful project base too. Ugh. Dot so dot pretty. Goose. So this pretty. is with thy needle and thread, Brenda <laughs> Gervais, Peter and Peep. Love it. I have that one stitched. Yeah, you were my that yeah. was my inspiration. And this I'm doing this on 32 count B Stitch Me Vanilla Latte. Two fabric, two strands over two fabric threads. I'm not using any of the called for colors. This is the one we played with. Yeah. Um, it, it calls for all gentle art sampler thread. I didn't have any of the colors. 
I couldn't justify buying the colors because you guys, I have, I have mm -hmm. an abundance of overnight cotton. I have a real problem. I can't buy more. I have to use what I have. So this is my progress so far. Does that help? Yeah. Beautiful. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what I imagined, um, but because I remember when you brought yours over so we could pull colors. Yeah. That um, it was, you know, a fairly big piece. But, um, wow, it's large. I really like it. I'm having a hard time putting it down. This might be my red deer sampler. Um, I And I it. had referred to it, I don't know what episode it was when you talked about this. I called him a boy rabbit. I think he's a hare, isn't he? Isn't it the same thing? A boy well, rabbit know. and a... Maybe... I felt kind of silly. I remember that episode calling him a boy rabbit because I couldn't remember what the true word was. Hair. Hair. When they have clothes on, they're a hare, not rabbits. If they're naked, they're rabbits. Right. When are they bunnies versus rabbits or when hares? When they're very tight. When they're still being carried around by their moms. That's when they're bunnies. Yeah. Just stating some facts. Okay. <laughs> um... This one is a near finish. I was going through some old bags and found this, and I don't know why I hadn't finished it. I just needed um, a row of um, wool. But this is Shepherd's Bush, and it's called Friend, oh. Friend Sheep. So what do you have left to do? I have um, a beautiful clay button. To, um, that's all you had left? Yep, that's all I have left to do. Oh, that's um, I ran out of Simply Wool Portobello, which was one of the colors that it called for. Mm -hmm. and, and it took me almost a year for the Portobello to come in on back order. And then it came and I put it in a safe place and I couldn't find the safe place. <laughs> I don't know if that happens to any of you guys. And then I was going through... Um, some stuff in the closet of no return and I came across this and I thought wait a minute I remember this portobello coming in and luckily I could remember the the safe place so I just finished the last couple of rows on one of the sheep and I will put the button in and then I will call that a finish beautiful are you gonna frame it I can't talk to you when you're like this. <laughs> well, there are so many um, options. You can frame it. You can block it. You could um, pillow it. Put it in the drawer of no return. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I My have gosh, you were busy. I'm so new start. of all your starts. This is Shepherd's Bush Warm Heart. Hate to say it. Finally. That was supposed to be our stitch along. It's hard to be a stitch along when you start it and finish it before I have a chance to start it. <laughs> I told you I was starting it. And you went, oops, talk to the hand. <laughs> and this is my very little. Oh. I don't know if it's enough to call it a whip, but I'm going to call it, it a whip. It is too. You said two threads was a yeah, whip. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. You got to take credit. And what do you have it in? I have it in the bag that you gifted me. Actually, I have a bunch of things in here. In the snowman bag, I since dug it was out, a snowman. Yeah, I dug out all of my Shepherd's Bush remaining snowman. So here is the black snowman. Oh, I'm black Here fabric. is the purple snowman. Oh. Here is the slate snowman. And here, this will be my next start. Blue snowman. Oh, they're so cute. So I took out all those snowmen and I put them in my snowman bag, bag with my snowman face button. That makes me so happy. So there you go. So cool. Judy's, Looky there. Judy's project bag. Looky there. Yep. Okay. Wow. Did I start anything else? I have no idea because so much of that was 
unknown to me. No, I think that's, um, <clears throat> I did do some Hardanger, so we can talk about uh, what I did on Hardanger Hump Day, like a little later. But yep. Julie, do you have anything that you've been working on? Well, <laughs> funny you should ask. I did some minimal stitching. I did work on um, my whips. Whips. However, I was absolutely overwhelmed with a tremendous amount of web orders. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. I woke up Sunday morning and went, what the what? I Now, I had six manila padded mailers. and I You were ready to go. I was ready. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, holy cow. So my first thing I did Sunday morning was jump on Amazon and order um, a lot of bubble mailers. So I'm thinking, just breathe, don't panic. We're gonna go, I, I rattle easily, and I don't know if that's because I'm old, or, or, or what. I overwhelm very easily. So I'm, I'm approached Sunday from a very methodical. I am going to set up, One at um, a time. Yep, I'm gonna clean my office out and get all, all of the frustration out you know, my mountain of tote bags and get that out of here. I cleaned everything out of the way. The laundry room, which I have a really cool laundry room, but the laundry room became the paper cutter, the uh, tissue station, the, I, I actually did some more, I needed to do some more fobs, which that was fun for me. Um, so is that Sunday, a pinch craft? It is a pinch craft. That's why I can't use my hands, but I just was so overwhelmed with I thought, no, I'm just going to take today to absorb this and get set up so on Monday when I start, I'm not tripping over myself and being frustrated. Yeah. And nothing really could go out until Tuesday morning at quarter to seven when all the stuff was delivered to aid in this. It was when I started shipping, I had a PayPal reconcile, I have to invoice and Tom comes in, bless his heart. He said, can I help you with something? You know, I, I can help. And I, I said, do yes, you can. know what a THH is or an HBS? No. Do you know where the DVDs are? No. I said, well, we've established years ago that you can't tie a bow. So maybe you could go back in the family room and help solve the mystery of the Curse of Oak Island, and if I need any help, <laughs> I'll let you know. So he goes, okay, but he was very kind, and he did check on me, yeah. you know, throughout the day. That's but amazing. in the evening, I did stitch, and, <sighs> sorry, people, Red Deer Sampler, I got that huge oh. center monstrous um that looks like a killer yeah when you look at it up close it's like wow row, row row spiraling in and i did four more down each side oops this way and then i started um there's two other flowers off this main stem so yeah oh, i still am just obsessed with it loving every stitch of it but um, this week, or it's been two weeks, the first eight days um, were shipping. Every day um, I would do shipping stuff, which was fun, but yeah. um, I wasn't really in the mind to stitch. Yeah. And do you want to remind everybody about the Oh, the we can stitching? do that. About the what? The s shipping. You said stitching. Is that code word for something? It's code word for <clears throat> shipping. Yeah. Um, oh God. 
Well, well, let me get through my my whips, okay. and then we'll what? do a refresher on what's cooking with All that. Because right. my mind is kind of, actually, I'm just um, really focused on lunch. Oh, Julie made her famous cherry pasta chicken salad. Yeah, cherry chicken almond pasta salad. Oh. We decided we needed that today. We're gonna so. self medicate with that today. Yes. 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 Um, I have this is, um, I, sh I know I have it. Hold, please. Okay. This is Flower Pot Roll-Up by Lottie Da. And I forgot to mention when I had um, started this over uh, when I was with Jane three weeks ago, I did a sample of two strands mm -hmm. over two fabric threads, and I showed it to her and said, I really can't believe I'm going to say this, Jane, but I think it's too bulky. And, you know, thank God she was sitting down. Oh, I got lightheaded. I started <laughs> to sweat. Like, what is happening? I actually am stitching this with one strand on 32 count, which I never thought would those words would ever and come out of my mouth. Coverage looks great. It's a little shy when you're up close, but it reminds me of my mom used to do stamped cross stitch. So since it's um kind of a a, a vintagey looking piece, mm -hmm. I thought. That's an okay look. I'm all right with that sparser look with this piece. But I know I think um, we have to remind ourselves because I had to remind myself of this quite a few times this week. People are not going to be looking at it like this. Yeah. Or under a magnifier like I am. Or like my grandmother. <laughs> um, it's going to be hanging or displayed yeah. somewhere. And um, so from a distance, people are not going to notice there's a there's one X that's a little out of shape yeah. or it, I can see a little bit of fabric through, you know, like whatever color it is. Mm -hmm. They're just going to notice that it's gorgeous and they're going to say that was a lot of work. And I enjoyed the stitch. Yeah. So in spite of all the counting <laughs> to double digit numbers. <laughs> So yeah, I I did work on that, and you then can. I had to start this. This oh, I love is the um, this love by Olveris, and it's stitched on thirty six count peony hand dyed fiber on a whim. Oh. With Wonderful. um gentle art sampler. Let me threads. pull it back so you might be able to see the true the color, color a little, a little better. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. rose. Oh pink. I just you know I'm like, oh I hope I know I'm stitching it with claret and I'm like, oh I hope I have enough because all of the words are in it. And so I started with the heart, which is the V, and then I ran down and I I have an abundance. I have like 60 yards I used it for one of my kits so and did you already say that you're doing one strand over two on this no as I did well? not it's one strand over two fabric threads which I yeah, am enjoying and I'm really I I like that oh, a lot. gorgeous so I, gorgeous. I have a thing here saying red deer sampler oh and then I came over here to stitch with Jane and um she left her stitching. Her I hand. no, I grabbed what I thought was the box that had this um flower pot roll up in. Yeah. It was. It but it didn't have the stitched piece. <laughs> that was on top of the box. Oh, I'm like so fine. It happens. So luckily I brought this is all of the makings for the um, delightful detail of the Hardinger. So uh -huh. I worked on that some I'm more. excited. <clears throat> I am too. I am too. So that is, let me just check. We do actually have lists. Yeah, today, because it's a lot. And it's not our regular, you know, programming where we like to go back and forth and share because, um, well, we're still going to go share. 
but we've got some special things and different things and so I feel like we're just kind of all over the place and that makes me unsettled so I better You're used to it right now you think I wish I was <laughs> just let it go let it go. It's 2023. <clears throat> That's right. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside because I think maybe let's talk about um, last week we had the big announcement. Yeah. Um, you want to help me with this so I'm not doing all the talking? Well, I was just hoping I could sip my beverage. And okay. You could roll with it. But yeah. Yeah, the big announcement last week was we um, introduced... Oh, let me take this. <laughs> we introduced the project bag, which is 12 by 14. My daughter did the um, graphics on it. And, and, then, um, and then, then a decal for your car or a window. Well, we don't like them the other way around. It's upside down. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have your bed. You know what? I was micromanaged all week. What? I'm so <laughs> Let me just have something. Just okay. Just let me have something. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> a decal for your car window, your bathroom mirror, your notebook. When, your... Yep. Water bottle as long as it's a non-porous material. Yep. Um, and then this is what it'll look like when it's applied. Right side up. <laughs> I learned my lesson. <laughs> it also comes with, can you read? I, I... My life-changing tip from episode number eight. <laughs> After failed attempts to thread the needle, when trimmed ends and licking won't do, rotate the needle end for end and slide the fiber through. So you get a little card with the needle. Yep. The needle actually does have an eye in it. Yes. I did verify. It's not a trick needle. It's not like one of those birthday candles where you try to blow it out and it won't go out. This needle actually has a hole in it. Yeah. It's not a stunt needle. It's not a stunt, it's not a stunt needle. <laughs> so, 23 days of reduced shipping ends on February 6th. So, the reason why we announce this yet again is for someone who may be tuning in for the first time and see this we would hate for them to miss out on the um shipping special and julie's or and bags. the link to julie's website will be in the description yeah. box so with that being said there's a couple of things um jane and i talked about that we could maybe share to take advantage of said shipping special um and I'm going to put these out here. And if you want to join in the reindeer games, you can. I will. If, you, if you're if you not up to I it, that's help. okay. I will help. As well. So, um, we had last week showed um, this on 28 count finished edge banding. It has a lucite stand that is inserted in a little... Slit, in, slit the in the back. And that's how it stands. It's so cute. On. Is it focused? There. Yeah. So I have a few of these left. And see these little buttons? Okay. <laughs> I had sold so much merchandise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That I was consolidating my drawers. And when I consolidated this drawer into another drawer, I saw a packet with three little buttons and went, oh, crap. I checked all the remaining kits. They all had the buttons. If you received your kit from this last shipment and you didn't have those three little pink buttons, send me an email. And I'll pop them in the mail for you. They just could have been an extra package sure, of buttons supplies. because that's where I had all the kit supplies when um, I was making these. So we've got that. And then something else that's kind of fun. You haven't seen these, have you, Jane? I don't know. I, I have these. Think so. These little wooden hangers that can go on a doorknob or a drawer knob. And it says, Stitches Blooming. They come in a yellow with hot pink kind of vibrant colors or in a gray 
with the softer colors. Oh. This is a kit that everything's included, the painted form. If you choose not to use the form, you could do this as a pin key or as um, just something little, make it into a needle case, whatever mm -hmm. you choose to do. But those are, um, those are on the website. And um, this little one is um, Today I Stitch. And that kit comes with fabric, ribbon, buttons, uh, ribbon de rouge. It comes with, I think, an adorable Love five, those colors. An adorable bob. It does not come with the scissors, but these little petite scissors are available and are also very handy for any little um, kit that you may so have. So cute. So, and then of course, fabulous fobs. Um, Valentine ones are pretty much <laughs> sold out. This is one of my favorites. Look at the, look at the chicken. <laughs> I just love that. They were really fun to do. Now the ho other holidays are just around the corner. Oh my gosh. So And a pig. Look at that. A little pig. Here's the watermelon. Now some of these are, as we said in our um, fob episode, I don't remember the number. Some of the beads. Who let the fobs <laughs> out? Some of them are familiar from Michael's or from um, Hobby Lobby, but some of them... Um, are unique. Uh, unique from another bead place that I patroned. Um, this is the sock monkey, which he is, this happens to be a sock monkey pin set with two counting pins, but we do have him just in a, um, in a fob only, and he is just so cute. He makes me just smile. So for the upcoming holidays, such as um, 4th of July. That one's great. That's one of my yeah. favorites. Or the everyday bunny rooster pig. So um, Well, you should be patriotic every day. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And then I, I kept forgetting this model. And um, Jane asked to see it up close and personal. Oh, that is a scissor fob kit for Valentine's. I have a few of those left along with a 4th of July, a Halloween, um, some other ones that are in there. It's too. so petite and sweet. Yeah, and that. a quick stitch. So I just wanted to share this and thank you for letting me share. And just um, let you know that the shipping goes through February 6th for whatever items that you um, are interested in. It is uh, $5 for the flat rate shipping. Unbelievable. Yeah. So um, I think that winds up the reminder on this. So like I'll be like Jane and put my goods away because we still have stuff to one of these may not make it one of the <laughs> well you choose which one you like is that the one you like <laughs> you're so sneaky in a yeah, very, in, in broad in, a very, in broad daylight and in public i'm yeah. preferring things well that's all right i i oh, think it's so that's hard all right to choose. they're cute they're cute. I had fun designing them, and they're um, really cute. If I do say so myself, which I don't like to do. This is not easy for me to, like I said before, toot my own horn, but toot toot. So now what are we going to go over, Miss Jane? We've got to this part. I thought you have some other things to share, right? Um, previous finishes? Do you want to oh. talk about previous finishes? <laughs> oh, that's sly. You're very sly. As yeah. we established in an earlier episode, I'm really smooth with them transitions. <laughs> with them, with them, their transition. <laughs> I got to set this aside because I have to empty my bin. Because, yeah. <clears throat> well. As you can see behind the scenes. <laughs> there's just stuff everywhere. It's kind of chaotic. So. We said we were going to have a little um, 
intro to uh, the other side of me. <laughs> I'm not, I don't call myself really a fanatic on too many things. I don't even really like to call myself a fanatic with this. I'm a fan. If you want to put attic at the end. <laughs> I think I would <laughs> you put would. the attic at the you end. You would? Just me. Really? Yep. For yourself or, or in oh. reference to me? In reference to you. <laughs> I'm accusing you of being a fanatic. A fanatic. Just, well, this, just this once. Considering I created a piece called Obsession, <laughs> maybe that might have something to do with it. So here it is. I'll just be bold. You know, when the pandemic hit, and all of us were somewhat traumatized by that. And we Stuck literally were on lockdown. My husband went to work because he was deemed an essential employee. So um, when he would come home, I had heard about this show called Outlander. And I'm like, well, let's let's see what that's like. Every, why not? We've got nothing else to do. So um, we would fix a plate for dinner and we would go down to the family room. And we'd watch this show. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. First episode, I'm like, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of know where, what I had seen. Yeah. But it's like, it's not there yet. And I'm like, okay. So after the first episode, we looked at each other and went, hmm, let's watch the second episode. And the third episode. And the fourth episode. And then I'm like, hit me. I was ready for the fifth episode, he goes, honey, I got to get up and go to work. And I'm what like, a buzzkill. So he would come home from work. We'd fix a plate of dinner. We'd go down and watch episode after episode after episode. I told Jane, you've got to watch this show. I, I said it's got just the right amount and the perfect balance of gore and orgasms to keep both of us he was really into it, and he's like... I imagine. <laughs> no phones. We Two did. favorite things, <laughs> gore and... So no, um, no phones. We did not have our phones. We watched it, and as a suggestion... See, this is where we're both going to go all over the place when I allow you to talk. But um, <laughs> I told oh, Jane... Oh, get ready. We have to... Um, we... We would like to suggest, if you were looking for something to watch, um, being that we're fact-based, it is on Netflix, episodes one through five. I seasons hear, one through five. Seasons. I did hear that they're opening up season six on Netflix for Canada. That was posted on Facebook. Wow. Um, but all of the seasons one through six, because we're waiting for seven, we are in something that I guess fans call a drought lander because of filming. Um, all seasons one through six are on Stars Network. That is through Hulu. So, got to get that out there. <clears throat> so, what do we... Um, I told Jane, you got to watch this show. Yeah, and I mean, I'm... If I have a obsession or a real, like, fandom... For me, it's Downton Abbey. Mm -hmm. I think I've watched the entire season and uh, the two, uh, the entire series and the two movies. The series probably four times. Each of the movies at least a couple of times. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I didn't, I don't know. So Julie's telling me you should really check it out and she's explaining and I'm like, oh, I don't, I'm not really sure. And then I Googled it and the information on Google was enough of the premise and I was like, I don't know. I, no. I'm like, yes. no, that's okay. <laughs> yes. And then and then Julie's like, no, seriously. Did you watch it now? How about now? How about this weekend? Would this weekend be a good time to watch? <laughs> hey, Jane, how's that Outlander going for you? Jane, Jane, <laughs> Jane, Jane. <laughs> Jane. No. So finally I'm like, oh my God, fine. I'll just watch one of the episodes. So I was home by myself on a Saturday and I watched the first episode and at the end of the first episode, I was like, oh, I guess we're doing this now. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. She would she would text me and go, I'd say, what season are you in? She'd say season two. 
what episode are you going to watch? And she'd say, oh, I'm just finishing up three. I'm going to go to four. And I'd be like, oh. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I never, I don't never say anything. said anything. The only thing she would really say is just don't, just pay attention. Yeah. Like don't stitch or be on yeah. your phone or be looking through cookbooks or <laughs> You know, like whatever. You have to pay attention to the story. You know. Well, and that's the thing. It takes place in Scotland, and there is a dialect. There, you pick up after the first or second mm -hmm. episode what they're talking about. Sometimes they do talk in Gaelic, but it doesn't matter. No. If you're watching it, the intensity of these actors, you know what they're saying. It doesn't yeah. need to be so much subtitled. You yeah. just, you are caught up in it. I, you know, you either you like it or you don't yeah. or you're obsessed. And I guess I fall in. I've watched it several times. Um, and several would be, how many times? I confessed about Downton Abbey. Okay, several times. Now, I'm not good at math, so it's... Several times, um, carry the one. It's probably several times four. Yep. But if I have a defense, state your case. Um, it was the pandemic, yeah. and I was stitching. I we watched the whole series together. But the repeat ones, the first one, you, you didn't know where the story was going. Second one, you knew where it was going, and now you're kind of keying in on the actors. And then um, beyond that is a blur. But um, I uh, stitched through it, and you couldn't go anywhere. You were stuck at home. So it, I was a captive audience. So um, here is the sampler I created. Oh, my <clears> gosh, <throat> you guys, get ready. I love it. Um, I saw the saying, life is a balance of holding on and letting go, which is so true in this um, series. And um, I'm going to read, so bear with us. Dramatic reading, everybody. <laughs> I better get a drink of Dramatic water. Dramatic reading. Okay. <clears throat> For centuries, needle and thread were used to document times in history to mark one's progress of learning or to depict beauty in an artistic fashion. The words of this sampler hold great depth, trust, loyalty, compassion, friendship, love, and heartbreak. We all experience these feelings on life's journey and to balance this takes great courage and strength. As needleworkers, we live in a time where there is an abundance of fabric and fibers at our disposal to create samplers of the past and to create new samplers that express our passions and obsessions. I was inspired by the beauty of this particular hand-dyed fiber. The vibrant hues of lavender turning to green spoke to me like a gentle breeze through a field of highland heather. The phrase is surrounded by simple motifs, and if you listen closely, you can almost hear the buzz of the bees, transporting you to a different place, to a time where a songbird or a gentle rabbit would remind you of those you've loved so deeply, where a dragonfly is a symbol of love and hope, and a single strand of pearls represents the love two hearts can hold, what more can be found among the stitches placed? The alphabet holds the key to my obsession. So any of you who have watched Outlander will see the two hearts, the bird, the rabbit, the vase, or as Claire would say, the vase, the forget-me-nots, the herbs, the two rings, the bees, the dragonfly, the vase has the years 1743 and 1945, and the thistle. So I just really loved creating oh, this. So and the fibers are by Romy Creations. There are so many beautiful fibers um, that you can use if you find one that you like better or you're unable to obtain that. I do have several kits complete kits and I have the chart available. Whether you're an Outlander fan or fanatic as I am, I think the sampler is just pretty to look at.
and the America sampler that I created that we did um, on the what? Oh, you, you got it. Yeah, I stole it from her today when she brought it. <laughs> that sampler was created and stitched during this um, viewing time as well. That America sampler um, during the episodes, at uh, one particular episode, Ray Charles sang America oh, in the most gets me every time. moving, absolute moving segment. Um, that I created that one and it brings me great joy. So that is uh, to say nothing that these characters are just Sam Hewen and Katrina Bell, mm -hmm. a fabulous group of actors that bring this story um, of love of one another and love of country together. Um, I was surprised I'd like that kind of movie, but boy, once you're into it, it's awesome. It grabs you. So thank you for letting me share my obsession. I was, um, it was pretty cool. I, it's just stunning. It, it's oh, just absolutely stunning. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were talking about the actor. <laughs> They're all, <laughs> that is a cast of um very beautiful human beings yeah very talented um and the acting is just yep you know you'll see as you watch it that um there are some episodes that are very hard very it's very difficult content and a very difficult storyline and um the first time i watched those episodes i would text julie and say i'm broken like mm -hmm. i cannot go on and I watched, you know, the series through, and then I decided, <clears throat> after many, many months, I think I'll start over. And I got to that first episode that was first in the series that was very, very difficult. And I said to Julie, I don't know if I can go through this again. But I made myself watch it and really focused on the performances of the actors. Unbelievable. I've never seen acting like that. Okay. It was unbelievable. No. And the thing is, is that... Um they are tremendous actors. The storyline at times is very difficult. But I will tell you this. Things were very difficult in 1743. Yeah. yeah. Or 17. Yeah. yeah. Very, very yeah. difficult. Uh, and we don't live in that society. And we don't live in those times. So um, I just am taken with it. We start, I had to do my homework yesterday. So I made sure it was on Netflix. And like I said, watched two or three episodes in and hadn't picked up my stitching. <laughs> and Tom came home and he goes, so we're doing this again? And I'm like, yeah. And he sat down and, you know, uh, he enjoyed it as well. So thank you for letting me share Gorgeous. once again um, my obsession and sharing my designs. And after this shipping thing, shipping special is over, we'll kind of go back to Jane and Julie and not have it be all... Jane J Designs base, but that's kind of who I am. It's a, very, it's a very generous so. thing that you're doing. It just it blows my mind. There's so much goodness. Well, thank there. you. And a lot of stuff that you don't you don't see anywhere else. And I'd like to thank the people that were kind enough to place orders. Thank you. And for who were so generous. You know who you are. I'm not going to mention names who had sent me emails. And um, really, that really touched me. I, I read them to Jane, and I'm like, seriously, thank you. The connections so, within the needlework community yeah, are amazing. The Floss Tube. All our yeah. Floss viewers are amazing people. So thank you. So now, that was two segments that we usually don't have. So what are we going to go to next? Let's... See what I did on Hardinger Hump Day. Yes, please do. All right. I'm kind of all worked up over that. A little, a little warm in here. Are you a little sweaty? Yeah. Um, I did not make a super ton of progress because, as you can see, I kind of got distracted by the <laughs> cross-stitching cross squirrel. But I did cut um, and start wrapping another piece so the last time we looked at um 
Sophie, I had. Where yeah, are you at? I had this top part. Mm -hmm. This top part. Um, cut and wrapped. And so what I did this week was I cut the second section and just oh, started okay. to do a wrap. Up here. That one's already wrapped. And now... I don't think you got the right thing showing. Okay. Take two. <laughs> Although it's beautiful. The bottom, <laughs> the bottom part is fully wrapped. Yeah. And I cut the top part and just started wrapping. But in her mind, she probably had it turned over on her lap, so it was the bottom part. But it's beautiful. My mind is a mysterious dark place. <laughs> so I think I for sure will set aside Wednesdays and have them be Harding or Hump Day. And um, really make some progress on this. I know I had said in a past episode I wasn't going to really do much cross-stitch until this was done. Mm -hmm. And that made Julie sad. <laughs> As she said in the last episode, and I don't want Julie to be sad, so You're I will be a real <laughs> Because oh. last time when you were you were involved with Hardinger, you said I'm going to have Wednesday be cross stitch hump day, no. and I'm like no, that's no, no. fine to do it once a day. Now you switched no. it and you're. Let's Throw roll the tape. Ah. Roll the tape. You're throwing me hard in. anger hump day. I said hump day was going to be hard anger day. You were the one that <laughs> said maybe in a text message. Oh, if I had my phone, I'd show y'all. You were the one that said in a future text message, maybe Wednesday could be cross stitch day. Yeah. And the rest of it. Yeah. I said hard anger hump day. Okay. You so, turned it into cross stitch hump day. Yeah. And then and I it, said, it's all going to be hard anger all the time. Yeah. It's until be, Sophie's finished. Yeah. And then last episode, oh, that made me so sad. <laughs> okay, well, I don't want you. And so she goes, <laughs> so of course, Jane is all about moderation. So if that's going to make you sad, fine. I'm not doing any hard anger. I'm going to do all of this cross stitch, all of this everything. And now you're going to bring in the hump day again. I, I did hump day. <laughs> You're so funny. I just said I did hump day. This is what I did on hump day. Oh, you're so funny. She was only going to do one day of cross stitch. <laughs> now she does cross stitch all the time. and she'll. Just... What do you want from me? I don't understand. I just want you to be happy. <laughs> so let me do what I want. Well, you can. I'm not, I don't live no, out. Not if you're going to be sad about it. Well, we can't express ourselves. <laughs> I came right. over here and you were sitting all frumpy and sad because you had a bad morning and I didn't say snap out of it. It's not it's a chronic it's, pain day, y'all. I don't know what not, to tell you. Today's not the day to be sad. I didn't say that. I let you feel your emotions like I thought I could last this week. This is the public shaming part of the video. Wow. I just I had a week of public shaming at work. I thought this was a safe place. This are is you, the public are you in, part like of the at the video. doctor's office? Are you in a safe environment? <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> is there a difference between safe and happy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to do what? What is Sarah? What does Sarah say? Stitch Hi, Sarah. what you love. Stitch what you love, and I don't care what day it is. If it's a Hump day or a pre-hump day. Are we still recording? Yeah. I want this to be. I want this to be. I recording. don't care if it's a hump day or it's a hump day eve or if it's um you know T G I F or the day before. You had me all thrown with those days of the week thing, but I don't care. I just want you to be happy. If I'm not happy, I'll deal with that on my own time. <laughs> She'll just store it all up, and then we'll be eating at lunch one day after a floss tube, and I'll be, Julie, could you please pass the butter? They'll just be like, she'll turn into Lou Ferrigno. It'll have nothing to do with the butter. There'll be all these weeks of pent-up sadness and frustration. Okay, well, this is, I was going to see, this is a perfect time to mention this. <clears throat> oh, God. Bella was over the other day. She said, I just lost it the other day, and boy, did they see a sight of me. And I go, I don't like you to be aggressive grandmas don't like to see that and then she goes I said but it doesn't 
apple doesn't fall far from the tree, meaning her mother. And she said, no, you, Grandma. I said, you're right. I have a dark side. I, I can go there. It's not pretty. And I'm getting real close to her little face. And I said, so you don't want to cross me. And she just stared me right in the face and said, yeah, I'll give you a piece of pie and you'll be over. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, you know me so well. Uh -huh. And she just gave me a hug. And I'm like, that's great. So no matter what I do, it's, oh, you God, know it's not uh, it's not serious. That's so funny. I will be nothing but unicorn and rainbows. <laughs> I will not be sad, Jane, around you. Oh my God! See, this is exactly where I didn't want them to see how we really are. But cats out of the bag. <laughs> cats out of, was out of the bag fifteen episodes ago. <laughs> okay, so now I don't even know what we were talking about. I'm gonna show my one delightful delivery. Oh, okay. Do show. Do tell. I a while ago, long time ago, joined Fox and Rabbit's Patreon, um, which is. I don't know what it means. It means you, you pay a fee Patron. every month and you then you have access to some things that um no one else does. Yeah. Ever or just be really uh, I don't know. I I do uh -huh. these things in the middle of the night and I don't pay attention <laughs> to what I'm doing. But core I signed up for the quarterly fabric club, forty count. Um and so I received this maybe a week ago and this is a 40 count linen say cheese by <gasps> fox and rabbit look at that look at is that not oh my god is that not gorgeous it's very cheesy oh. cheese is a perfect name for it it's beautiful so i may need to find i was going to say something. what are you going to stitch on it it doesn't matter. Well, Julie, like uh, like the rest of my <laughs> fabric stash that is crammed very, very tightly into drawers to your left, I have no idea. Oh. I have no idea, but I will find something. It's so And it's 40 so count, pretty. so I 40 can't count. even borrow it. No, 40 won't work. So. You never know. I mean, there might be a... Just one day that'll come along where your brain's like, well, 40 counts not so bad. My brain won't do that. No, I know I can't. I resigned myself to that fact that I... So you just gave up, is what you're saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> you said, don't let the fabric count define you. That's right. You said that. Did you not mean it? I maybe did at the time. <laughs> I can't do 40 counts. Hey, just be thrilled I'm stitching with one string because, you know, oh, I, can't I can't believe that either. We're all, we all should just stitch what we love. Yes. No matter what count fabric, linen, Ada, DMC, silk, over dyed, whatever. It doesn't yep. matter. Yep, that's what Sarah Do what you says. Love. Sarah says stitch what you love. Everyone be more like Sarah. Yes, yes. Hi, Sarah. Okay. I got nothing. Do you have any finishes? I already showed my finish. Thanks for paying attention, Julie. I showed my shepherd's bush finish earlier. We are all oh, out of sync. Pull the tape back. Um, well, while I... you're while you're regrouping, I did actually write in my sure. in my book of days. I only had one or two days in January where I didn't stitch. You had stars on your chart. What did you do there? So, just keep in mind, you guys, it's January. So, yeah. I have like a newfound enthusiasm for things. Where you see a star in the box means I started something new. Where you mm -hmm. see a check mark, it means I finished something. So, where'd you get those stickers? So for a while, I was really into bullet journaling, and so I would make my own planners. And part of bullet journaling is a lot of washi tape and stickers and whatever. That's what that bag is. That's there. what that huge, heavy tote bag is. 
that I haven't looked at for several years. Well, I'm glad you didn't give it to Elizabeth because now we can look through that. Yeah. All I, the stickers are in a pouch, and then there's plastic bags of washi tape in there and all kinds of other goodness. No, I did not do anything in my journal because I went to Michael's, and I've been to Hobby Lobby, and I went to their sticker department, and I'm like, I'm not journaling. I, I'm not. I saw the washi tape. I thought we just have to have the big, elaborate stickers. Do whatever we want. So I did not do anything in my book. Um, I saw it before I came, and I thought, well, why bring it? I'm not going to do it. So I'm glad you showed that because well, maybe now I can. And maybe on our next um, tailgating or um, stitching night, we can play with stickers and washi yeah, tape. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But look, important on Saturdays where we did floss tubes, important. Important, yeah. You was kind. You was smart. <laughs> you was important. That's from an English major. <laughs> it's from it's from what? the movie The Help. Oh, okay. And when um when she's when she's saying that to the little girl that she takes care of, you was kind. You was smart. You was important. Heave yes. ugly cry. I'll well, I thought it was a beautiful that. sentiment. Sentiment. I'll have to watch that movie. What's that on? It's called The Help. I shall do that. I don't know where it streams. I have the DVD if oh, you want to okay. borrow it. I, um, thank you. <laughs> I love tips like that. Um, now, to switch gears, Jane wanted to see this. Yeah. This is the Hardinger sampler, belt pull, that Julie designed. Oh. But it can be hung this way or that way. After Sophie, that might have to be my next Hardinger start. So she wanted me Which to bring that. Beautiful. So that would be a finish. Mm. And then, <clears throat> since we seem to have trouble, I, actually this one was framed and hung behind the door. Um, this is... A, B, C, D, since I have trouble with the alphabet. Yeah. No, Dating can, back to 2005, I had trouble with the alphabet. Now you can alphabetize more yeah. numbers. So that's a fun little one, a uh, leaflet. I love that, that I frame. Yeah. Actually, this was designed to put in a top of a great big, this size oak um, box for games, mm -hmm. you know, or something, but I framed it for the shows so I could hang it up. That's why the back's not finished, so. And you're not gonna show the back, so put it <laughs> I learned that with you. <laughs> She's like, ah, ah, I'll just put this over here. <laughs> so, um, and I had, oh, my, oh, here's the, it's just the leaflet. Okay. Oh, it's so I love that. Yeah, kind of fun. Yeah. So I, for delightful deliveries, one, I had no time to shop online because I was in the shipping and loading like, department. You were in your shipping department. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I felt like I needed a hat or something to wear since I was like going down to the shipping department. I needed to don some attire. Yeah. I didn't. Um, I have some baseball caps you can borrow if you want. I don't think I have a hat head after all. Maybe not. Oh well. Um, I have only two delightful deliveries. I have fabric on the way that I'm supposed to get today, which I hadn't. That was for my modern folk embroidery piece is coming. But I did have this from oh, Abby yeah. Rose Designs, you know, with my strive to do drums. No, oh, that's so And nice. this it's one says, pretty. no matter how hard the winter, spring is sure to come. So that's oh, what like is that. the saying around the drum. And then there's a... Uh, charming little sampler mm -hmm. you could do as well but I wanted to do the drum and then this is new from um, Rosewood Manor oh and my. I thought of you 
I know it's called Blue Rhapsody, so according to Jane's rules, she knows about me being rulesy julesy. If it says blue in the title, it has to be blue. It can't be Black Rhapsody. And to tell you the truth, I really couldn't see that in any color but blue. That is really beautiful. Yeah. And look at all the different things. Um, well, the back is showing how Karen always um, breaks it down into smalls that you can do as well. This is stitched on 32 count white or antique linen or any fabric of your choice. And she has the model stitched with um, Weeks Dye Works Navy and Sky. So there are two different shades of Beautiful. blue in there for that one. But isn't that just stunning? That might have to go in my online cart. I was going to say, this is going over here, because if I show you, it always winds up in the side. <laughs> Look at that face. That's how it starts with that face. <laughs> but I really want it, <laughs> Oh, and I want you to be happy, so you can... <laughs> But isn't that pretty? Yeah, I just really love. Um, you know, and you know how I feel about butterflies. I'm just not a butterfly fan, but this is really beautiful. It's yeah. so well done, and there's it doesn't look cartoony. No. Yeah, it's really beautiful. So yeah. Yeah, that might have to be in my car. I know. So wow. That's that. We're not for everyone. <laughs> just say that. <laughs> And we know. I'm That's not okay. for everyone. Well, either am I. That's why we get along. We're like two peas in the same... We landed on the <laughs> island of misfit toys together. <laughs> oh, what oh, an man. island. But we will be um, back if you choose to join us, which I hope you do. Subscribe. Thanks, ring the bell so you know. Like Tell us. your friends. Yeah. Don't force anyone to watch us but um, our husbands won't even watch us we can they can we have to sit and pretend to be interested in excruciatingly long stories about you know i saw anything. a youtube video that taught me how to tie a special lure or now i know how to use my tip up more efficiently or i can mm -hmm. change the oil on my snow blower and we have to sit and pretend to be interested in all that stuff. Watch a tree fall for the tenth time. Watch one of our videos. Oh, look at the time. I got Well, Tom watches to it go. long enough to classify it as a like. Um, but he goes, I don't need to watch it. I live it on a daily basis. <laughs> why which they, is fine. Which is fine. Why are they like that? I don't know. But that that's why we love them. I I do. 42 years, 43 years it will be. 35. Yep, 43 for me this year. Um, that's why he got married in 1980, because it would be easy math for him. <laughs> uh, and we were going to get married in 79, and he goes, how about 80? I don't want an even yeah. number. Something like a, like the big, like a, the decade. Yeah. Number. That's so, so funny. Anyways, um, we will be back on um, a day early. February 10th is when yeah, February 10th is when we're filming. It'll be a Friday delight. Yeah. Um, because I have an all day event with Catherine on Saturday and Sunday is the Super Bowl. So there will be okay. snacks that day. That's snack day for those of us who don't understand football. That is just it's a day of snacks. snacks. They have snacks, agree. yeah. The snacks and the national anthem. Yes, and stitching and snacks. Mm -hmm. So that is snacks. Be, uh, we both are winners, aren't we, on that day? Doesn't matter who's playing. Doesn't matter who wins on TV. We'll be winners because we will be stitching snacks. with snacks. Yeah. Instead of running with scissors, we'll be <laughs> stitching with snacks. <laughs> I like Which it. is a sitting event. Yes. No. Needles up, feet up. Yep, no it's running involved. All right, Jane, I'm going to find the remote to click okay. us out. Not yet. I, I would, you can do your thing. Okay. Um, so we want to thank you for very much for joining us today. We really do appreciate you. Um, remember to always give yourself one more day.
Um, just one more. The darkness is not a forever thing, I promise you. It's just not. If you're struggling, please reach out to someone, anyone. Um, but give yourself one more day. If uh, I can do it, you can do it. So let's pinky swear again this week that we'll all meet back here again in a, in a couple of weeks. Yes. And until then, we wish you nothing but the best. Health, happiness, and the abundance of all of the things that make you happy. And until next time, happy stitching, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. Here we go. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. We really mean it. <laughs>